This might just be the end of Electron. All right, I know that statement is big, but please just give me a second. Let me explain myself. Okay, so first of all, for those who don't know what Electron is, Electron is basically a free and open source software. GitHub maintains it. Electron is basically a software framework. You know, things like VS Code, things like Discord, they all run on Electron. Electron provides Chromium as an engine, basically. It's like a browser engine. While Chromium has its own pros, there are a lot of cons that are actually needs to be considered. Some of the cons include high memory and high CPU usage, and not to mention how huge the bundle size will be after it's compiled. And obviously the privacy concerns with Google tracking. If you trust Google, then I mean, good for you, I guess. What if I told you guys that I actually found an alternative to Electron, which basically achieves the same thing that Electron also wants to achieve. It uses significantly less amount of storage when built. It uses significantly less amount of memory compared to Electron. And privacy is one of their main goals. No guys, I'm actually being serious. This thing actually exists. Well, you better believe it because my God, Tauri kills it. Tauri is just an Electron killer. In every single aspect you think about, this thing rises up. Privacy, there you go, you got him. Storage usage, all right, Tauri have wins. Freaking everything, benchmarks, like bro, it's crazy. This thing is built to demolish Electron to the ground, all right? And I'm not just gonna talk because I hate Electron. I did my own statistics and analysis between these two, between Electron and Tauri, and I'm gonna compare the performance, storage usage, memory usage, and everything, and every single aspect you think about. And at the end of today's video, we're gonna come up with a conclusion as which one is actually better in terms of everything and which one you should actually go for if you're planning to build a software. In order for us to go in depth regarding how these two things operate and how they perform, we need to do a little bit of analyzing. For this analyzation, I decided to use my own project, which was actually mainly before it was converted to Tauri, was made in Electron. That means we have two versions of our application, one built in Electron and one built in Tauri. And that gives us a very, very, very good opportunity to compare different frameworks between each other and to see which bundler, which uses the most size, which one uses the most memory and which one uses the CPU the most. Also, this is not just going to be on Windows specifically, it's going to be on Linux as well. So this is a really great idea because we can actually use this comparison to prove how different operating system GDKs work out and how they can affect our system resource intens intensity. All right then, so there you go. We have our two versions of our application. Lazap Old is the one running on Electron and this is the one running on Tauri. And I have Task Manager open and I'm gonna precisely show you guys how the memory gets used. So I'm gonna open the Lazap Old first. And as you can see, this is my old Lazap on Electron. I have a pretty lightweight app, all right? It's, uh, the reason that doesn't show a lot of memory is probably because of that. And as you can see, I'm not even using the application, but it's already at 2% CPU usage. Like, I'm not even doing anything with it, but it's already using a lot of my CPU for no reason. Now, let's do the same thing, but this time we're going to run the Tauri version of my Laza. And here it goes, pops up. Also, one thing I noticed when editing the video was the fact that how long it takes each application to actually run when we're clicking them. And that I didn't actually notice that when I was uh, recording the video, but now I'm editing the video and I'm actually noticing there's actually a huge difference between Electron and Tari's, how long they take to open. And that's actually a very, very, very big deal, honestly, because I personally didn't think um, it would be this significant. Um... You might be noticing that the fonts are a little bit different, but don't worry about that. That's supposed to be different. We changed the fonts at the end of the days. And already you can see very much improvements comparing to the Electron version. So let me to clear, to, just to clarify, this is Electron version and this is the Tari version. Now, the Electron version can exceed in the memory as high as 300 megabytes or 400 megabytes. My lap is the most lightweight, so this is probably the minimum you can get with Electron. So this proves two things. Tari for sure uses a lot less more, less memory comparing to Electron, all right? Um, especially when it's a big application, your Tauri application is gonna be using a lot more or less um, memory on your system. But the rest is all because of GDK. And every single system has their own way of implementing GDK. 
Windows has uh, their own way of GDK. For example, if I do control this right now, there you go. This is dev tools for my GDK application. But for instance, if I do this on my Electron app, you can see an inspect element shows up, which is which explains this is actually running on Chrome. This is running on GDK. And for your own information, GDK is much different than Chromium. It's not Chromium at all. Now, let's leave those behind and I'm going to compare this with Linux in a few seconds later. So I'm going to close both applications again and I'm going to, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, now we got the information on Windows. Um, let's also move on to the app size. So when this is coming up, now this is where Tauri rises the most. I said size comparison between Lazap in Tauri versus Lazap in Electron. As you can see, on the left, I have Lazap and Lazap. So they're both two different things. The one on the right is the one made in Electron and the one on the left is the one made in Tauri. Same thing nothing different uh the one in the electron using one 207 megabytes of storage meanwhile the same thing on Tari uses only eight megabytes and you know what's even crazier about that the crazier part about this is that there is only one exe file like actually there's like if i go to the location for the Tari one version right now there's only an exe file in there not the same thing with Electron though. The Electron one has so many folders, so many subdirectories, and you know, it, it, it's, it, I can't even use this as a portable basically. That's how crazy Tauri is. You can run this exe file on any system right now, and I promise you, it's basically acting like a portable. All right, let's do the same experiment on Linux now. I'm running Arch Linux, and let's go ahead and run Lazap, and oh my God, it opens very instantly. And then right beside it, I have the Electron version now open. I had to get the exe file because I had to do it with an app image instead. So the same thing is also app image in here, but I just added a shortcut for myself, but this one doesn't have a shortcut, so I had to go like find it. Let's run Btop. And in the Btop, I'm gonna search for Lazap. And okay. That is actually crazy. So on Linux, Lazap, the, the single process, the singular process that we have only uses 83 megabytes and 0% CPU. Let's just go around a little bit. And obviously it's going to use CPU a little bit. One, okay, that's pretty good. Now the Electron version though, that is actually crazy. Uh, the Electron version is running, the Electron version is running one instance, two instance, three instance, four instance, five instances, six instances. Okay, six instances and probably in total 300 megabytes i think 100 here 100 here 100 here and the extras let's just call it 400 i guess 400 megabytes compared to 173 megabytes on a singular that is crazy all right <clears throat> that is absolutely crazy the cpu usage is very normal compared to windows though the windows one had actually very inconsistent um cpu usage for electron version but wow that is actually insane the linux version does actually have a big difference so that actually shows how operating systems can actually affect how um you know the memory users and other things can be affected depending on what it is uh well i mean obviously well it's important to mention that this is running chromium and this is running gdk so probably gdk is more optimized on linux and this is what's interesting about tauri and why is it superior compared to electron tauri is basically electron but enhanced but there's a catch Tauri is very specifically not built for people who are just coming to learn how to make a software framework with just a very basic JavaScript knowledge and very basic HTML and CSS knowledge. If you're advanced in JavaScript, Node.js, and you want to go further and actually do something better, then I highly recommend to go with Tauri. Don't look after Electron. Electron is just going to waste a lot of time in your project. And you, what you're doing is basically coding uh, Chromium. You're, you're literally using Chromium uh, as a way to run your application. And I don't think this is a really practical way of doing it. Um, and I think Tauri is actually introducing a very, very, very nice and clean method to us developers to develop our applications and make it better. And this is what I like. I like to see competition. Competition is good because it will help us developers to exceed and make better things for people and consumers. Anyways, guys, that's it for me today's video. If you liked it, go ahead and go like the video. If you hated it, then go dislike it. I don't really don't care. But that was my thoughts in today's video. This is Dashcraft and I'm out. Peace, guys.